Hey there, Ali here with Walls Need Love. When it comes to transforming your space, nothing makes an impact like a billboard sized wallpaper or mural resting in your home. Today, we're gonna show you how to install a pill and stick mural. Let's get at it. When it comes to applying wallpaper, we're gonna break this down into four steps. First, we're gonna prepare the wall. Second, we're gonna apply the wallpaper. Third, we're gonna trim it. And finally, we're gonna enjoy what we've created. Most importantly, when it comes to installing wallpaper or doing any project, is just making sure you have the right tools. Well, these are very simple, inexpensive tools, and they'll make your wallpaper project go very smooth and seamlessly. The main essential tools are scissors, pencil, felt tip squeegee, snap off blade, and a level. And some helpful tools are a roller, flathead screwdriver, painter's tape, pliers, and something to measure with. A couple more things you'll need, and one is a step ladder and a helper. This is my friend, she's gonna be helping today. Her name's Natalie. Let's jump right into it. All right, so when it comes to installing wallpaper, preparation is a huge point. So what we're gonna be doing now, actually we've already moved the furniture out. You wanna move your furniture, you wanna wipe down the wall with a damp cloth to make sure you get all the dust off. Let it dry completely. Then you wanna remove any face plates for any light switches or sockets. Finally, check your wall and make sure there's no big bumps or holes and make sure you either sand those down or fill them before you install your wallpaper. Once you have a nice clean surface on the wall and a clear space to work with, you're ready to start installing. One thing I wanna point out is our wallpaper is very heavy duty. It's the best quality pill and stick wallpaper on the market, hands down. It's shipping this to go to the moon. All right, now the next step here is we're gonna lay these out and get them in position to put on the wall. You're probably gonna have to work on the floor unless you have a huge table, okay? So just make sure your floor is clean. And just notice if you got a mural, if you got a large image, the panels will be numbered. Those have to go in order. This C1 is gonna be on the very far left corner over there. C4 will be on the far right. Now I've got a stack unrolled here. What I'm gonna do is roll up each one of them individually. All right, so let's place the last panel here. At this point, as you can see, we're gonna have some overlap, we're gonna have some extra. Now what we're gonna do is find the center line of the wall and draw a plumb line. The big point here is that you wanna start in the middle of your feature wall. Now in this case, we only have one wall, but if this were going around an entire room, you wanna make sure you start on the wall that's like the main one, right in the middle. So half of 12 foot eight inches is going to be six foot four inches. So I need to come over six foot four inches from this wall. So we're gonna apply the first panel down the edge of the plumb line. Okay, here we are. This is the location that the plumb line needs to go. Now I just need to make a vertical line. That's where the level's gonna come in. I'm gonna center that bubble in there. I'm gonna draw a nice pencil line. Don't worry, you can erase this later on. It's really important that your plumb line be straight and vertically level so that your first panel is perfect. If the first one's perfect, then you can be guaranteed that the rest of them are gonna be perfect as well. So what we need to do, since this is peel and stick, we need to peel the backing paper off. Peel back a couple feet. All right, something like that, that's perfect. Notice I've already got it where it needs to be, I'm just gonna lift it straight up here. Now she's gonna help me align that right edge at the bottom and I'm gonna align this edge over here. And additionally, it's gonna bleed over onto the ceiling up here, so I'm giving it some extra slack. See how there's like four inches down there, but there's only a couple inches up here? What I'm gonna do is pull this up a little bit. You kinda want equal bleed on the top and the bottom. Notice that just the top is stuck right now, okay? What I'm gonna do is check this edge. If it's laying flat all the way down, we have a plumb. Just notice here how this is lining up. We're gonna use a felt side. Push this up into the corner. Yeah, from the middle out. I'm gonna squeeze you from the middle out here. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is come behind it. If you notice, she's gonna grab the paper right here. And we're both gonna pull down at the same time. Now let me say that if for some reason this was not aligned, this is peel and stick wallpaper. You peel it off, you'd start over, and give it another go. Just make sure you get your first panel on straight. Yep. 
When it comes to squeegeeing, you just want to make sure you go from the middle outwards in type of kind of a fanning motion. Okay, so I'm always going to kind of come right down the middle and then make sure I'm fanning. I'm going to show you how to, how to work around the outlet right now. It's very simple. All we're going to do is take a blade and cut around it so that when we put the face plate back on, the cut line is underneath the face plate. Now what we want to see is if this is going to help it lay flat. You don't want any wrinkles, you want to let it, let it lay flat. There we go. Notice how we have this lip? This is what you want. This will be trimmed away later. First panel is installed. Nice and straight, nice and plumb. It's very important to get the first panel on straight. If you don't get it on straight, just take it off and reposition it. So now when it comes to aligning panels, you have to have something to align. And it all depends on the artwork. Now looking at this pattern here, notice that there's some lines coming here and then a really good one down here. All right, let's install the second panel, which is actually panel number three. So we're gonna go two, three, four, and then one. One of the differences between paste wallpaper and peel and stick is paste, once you stick the wallpaper, you can then scoot it around and one person can align it. With peel and stick, it has to be aligned and then you stick it. If, it's, if, it, if you stick it in misalignment, then you have to peel it off. That's one of the major differences between paste and peel and stick. This is where you really need to help her, if not even a third person to help you. And the reason being is these panels are large and what happens is you have to either move the panel up down, left, right, counterclockwise or clockwise. And those are the six directions you're kind of working with. So one person has to be doing that at the top while the other person or two people need to be kind of helping get coach and align. But once it's stuck, it's good to go. So we've aligned it, we've stuck it at the top, and now we're just gonna remove the backing paper and apply the rest of it. You notice where this paper is actually overlapping here? You won't even be able to see an overlap, that's how thick the paper is. Okay, so something about our paper here, notice we have a slight misalignment down here at the bottom. Now, you, if you want a perfect job, this is what you wanna do. The paper can stretch a little bit. Instead of repositioning the entire panel, I'm just gonna pull it over to the left here. You wanna make sure this aligns. Now that's aligned, now I'll worry about the rest of it. Instead of having a wrinkle, what you could do is kind of smooth that out. Notice you can just push that right out. Second panel installed. So when you get to a corner panel, this is an inside corner, as in the wall comes out and it stops. And at this point, when we get here, what we need to do is take some measurements and we need to pre-trim this panel. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so it fits snug into the corner with just an eighth inch overlap. We want it to bleed into here so we can still trim it. One more panel. So I'm gonna show you two methods for trimming. The first one's gonna be using a snap-off blade guided by a squeegee. And the second method I'm gonna show you is holding a stationary straight edge in place and cutting. So if you're right-handed, you wanna hold the squeegee on top. Okay, so it's squeegee in your left hand you want to cut from the right to the left side. Make sure you have a brand new blade, okay? This is one of the most important tips here is to always snap off a new blade like every eight feet or so. Put this blade pretty far out because it needs to reach in there. We're just gonna guide both of them, just like this. You wanna make sure you're cutting enough to cut through the wallpaper. There we go. See how clean that is? That's a straight edge. Now I'm gonna show you a method using a straight edge. I prefer to guide it with a squeegee because you can get in tight at the corner. However, a straight edge works as well. Notice you have about the same outcome there. Make sure you always snap off the new blade. As you can see, there's already lines here. So what you wanna do is go down to the last line there, grab with a pair of pliers and just Bam, that snaps off. Now we have a brand new sharp blade right there.
you know, this trimming, it, it goes by relatively quickly. Just make sure you take your time because once something's cut, it's cut. So it's an easy process, but you can also screw it up very easily if you get in a hurry. So just take your time with it. There we go. Preparation goes a long way when it comes to any project, especially wallpapering. So we prepared, we applied the panels, we trimmed the edges, now it's time to enjoy. Make sure you allow yourself plenty of time if you're gonna do this project. You don't wanna be in a rush. Hopefully this uh, has been a helpful video for you all. And uh, again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out, wallsneedlove.com, all right? Jump, all right, let's get out of here.